Good morning. My name is Nikki Ashton. I'm the Member of Parliament for Churchill, Kuwait, Nukaski, and the NDP critic on tax fairness and inequality. Today, I stand here with PIP's President Jennifer Carr and Canadians for Tax Fairness economist and lead researcher D.T. Cochran. We are here to share a clear message. Now is the time for the Liberal government to step up and make the rich pay their fair share of taxes. Millions of Canadians are struggling right now. Historically high inflation, skyrocketing costs of living. Working families are struggling to cover basic needs. Around us, our public services are in disarray. Our healthcare system, nurses burnt out, emergency rooms closing, waiting lists growing longer by the day. Chaos at our airports, lineups for public services like passports. Canadians are feeling left behind and ripped off. That's why we're here today. Canadians are struggling, and yet this government is doing favors for its friends that are rich and powerful. While working people struggle and those living in poverty are pushed further down, the rich have only become richer. We know from Oxfam that reported earlier this year that since the beginning of the pandemic, 50 new billionaires have been minted as of January, and the fortune of the country's 59 billionaires have increased by $111 billion. This is roughly the same amount the Canadian government spent on COVID-19 income supports to workers. Liberal and previous Conservative governments have consciously allowed the rich in our country and their friends to get away without paying their fair share of income taxes, wealth taxes, and corporate taxes. The CRA reported on the tax gap last week, where it estimated that we were losing on billions in tax revenues due to non-compliance every year. According to the Parliamentary Budget Officer, we are losing up to $25 billion in government revenue per year. $25 billion that could be going towards our hospitals, housing, our roads, schools, and the list goes on. Let's be clear, this didn't just happen. This is intentional. Just a few weeks ago, we found out that accounting firm KPMG has been, quote, cleared of any wrongdoing, unquote, by this Liberal government after allowing, the we uh, allowing wealthy Canadians to dodge paying their taxes for years. Canada's tax code needs to become a focus of our work, and the CRA needs clear direction and the tools to do its job. Les libéraux laissent les Canadiens les plus riches sans tirer, sans payer le juste part d'impôts. L'écart fiscal identifié par le di directeur parlementaire du budget, selon les données de l'Agence de revenus, est de jusqu'à 25 milliards de dollars. KPMG vient tout de juste tout juste de recevoir une passe droit de ce gouvernement pour aider les plus riches Canadiens à éviter de payer leur juste part. Pour nous, c'est clair, clair que la fiscalité canadienne a besoin d'être révisée. C'est une question de justice. The last few months have shown us just how bad things are when it comes to the tax system in our country. Canada has been exposed by the End Snow Washing Coalition, of which Canadians for Tax Fairness are a part of. As, as a country where it's easy to hide dirty money, dodge taxes, and fund illegal activity from abroad. The New York Times recently published a report how easily Canada can be used as a base for money laundering. Our tax code is allowing the rich to evade taxes, and it must be reviewed and changed. If a major accounting firm can help the richest Canadians avoid paying their taxes and is then let off the hook, what does that tell us about this Liberal government's priorities? We need the Liberals to take ev tax evasion and tax avoidance seriously. We need direction and resources given to the CRA. It's time to put an end to putting their, their billionaire friends ahead of working people in our country. And it's clear, Parliament must stand up for working people in this time of crisis. We need to look into this situation. We need to review our tax code. We need a parliamentary committee to delve into the issues of tax evasion by the rich in our country. 
And that's why we, we will be calling on all parties in the House to work with us on this. And we will call on the government to give the CRA the resources it needs to close these lo tax loopholes. Aujourd'hui, on demande à tous les partis de travailler avec nous d'ici la prochaine rentrée parlementaire pour former un comité qui veillera à corriger les failles évidentes dans nos lois fiscales. Les plus riches se servent du Canada comme paradis fiscal. Cela doit cesser. Nous veillerons à mettre sur pied un comité spécial qui sera chargé de trouver les échappatoires fiscales dans notre loi sur l'impôt et les fermer le plus rapidement possible. Now is the time for action. We need to be clear that when we're talking about tax evasion and tax avoidance, this is like legalized theft. This is a deliberate government policy of letting millionaires and billionaires pay little or no taxes. And what it means is we are stuck with everybody else picking up the tab. The working people of this country that are struggling to deal with inflation and making ends meet are paying more than their fair share. This also means that Canada is becoming a country that isn't able to actually meet the needs of many, a growing number of Canadians. People are having to line up for basic needs, basic public services. People are angry, people are frustrated, and people are feeling ripped off. The Liberals must step up and stop letting their rich friends off the hook. It's time to make sure that those at the top are paying their fair share. Working families are counting on us to stand up for them.